Foul. The situation hedging against a, a ball screen. And Holmes picks up a, a cheapie. You know, that's number two. You get a couple of more early maybe in the second half. You look back at that foul and you go, oh, boy, that's that's one I really gave away. Absolutely. And Kentucky getting to the foul line despite Patrick Patterson being out of the lineup. The Cats doing a nice job working their way to the foul line. They've they've had eight attempts so far. Bradley with a couple here. One and one here. Bradley has really done it all for this team. One of the outstanding rebounding guards in the SEC. Gets four and a half boards a game to go along with the assists and the uh, nearly 16 points per game average. And again, with Patterson out, the pressure on him to be at his best every game is incredible. Tim, the uh, free throw shooting in conference games only. Kentucky getting more free throw attempts and scoring more from the foul line than anyone else in the league. Well, Johnny got airborne that time, made a crucial mistake. Crawford making him pay. Great hustle by Ramel Bradley to hustle down the court. He set a screen, kept Dwayne Day from getting over to contest that shot from Joe Crawford. Teamwork, sacrifice, Bradley hustling to help a teammate get a basket. Well, on the back door cut, ball was deflected. And another steal, but retrieved by South Carolina. Loose ball situation. Cats push the lead to double digits. South Carolina needs a hoop. And they need it quickly. And as Harris and Crawford rush out, and on Harris picks up the foul, the second. Kentucky scrapping on defense. He's uh, down. He got in the air. Look at Bradley. Hustled down. He screened Dwayne Day off. Ran as hard as he could just to cut off Dwayne Day. Keep him from contesting that shot. And made it so much easier for Joe Crawford just to dribble it in and lay it in without having to concern himself with the defender. That won't show up in the stat sheet, but great hustle from Bradley. Well, the announcers for tonight's game are selected and compensated. By Raycom Sports for the use of the broadcast without the express permission of the Southeastern Conference, and Raycom Sports is prohibited. Last ball, last touch by South Carolina Sam Muldrow. 36.9 remaining here in the opening half, and Kentucky leading by nine. He's going to get some more offense on the floor. Jasper and Stevenson will re-enter the game for this last possession of the half. Nice job by Kentucky. 34 points here in the first half. Half able to hold for the final shot of the first half. They couldn't have asked for this to go any better. This South Carolina team is solid. A lot of people thought uh, Kentucky would have a lot of trouble in this building, including me. Thought this would be a very difficult game for the for the Cats. It ain't over yet, but they're in good shape as we're closing in on halftime. Well, they certainly dictated tempo. There's no doubt about that. And uh, forced South Carolina into difficult shots out of their half-court sets, which is really what Dave Odom's team's all around. They won't let... South Carolina run any of their stuff. And South Carolina has a tough time scoring over the top of defense. Kentucky has forced them to take contested shots just about all night long. And Gamecock struggling offensively. Bradley working on Donnie with one second discrepancy between the shot clock and game clock. Essentially, they're holding it for one. Harris on a blow by, rejected, and an offensive foul. Player control, and that is number three. That's a big foul on Ramon Harris. Archie getting up slowly after taking this knee in the in the gut. Good drive by Harris with that shot clock winding down. You need to get something up quickly and get something going to the basket. Harris is one of the few big bodies that uh, Billy Gillespie can call upon now that Patterson's not available. So that's a that's a big third foul on him. Downey with a second left. And we're at the intermission. Kentucky with its second.
suffocating half-court man-to-man pressure as the lead. We'll be back with halftime activity. SEC Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. By GMC. And by Ruby Tuesday. SEC Basketball is being brought to you by Pontiac. By Advance Auto Parts. And by Toyota. Brian, but that is now completely dry. <laughs> we, we did have a little contact in the opening half for the benefit of those of you that were not with us. Actually, I'm surprised we held on to the monitor because it wasn't my Diet Coke, but it yes. was all over the monitor. But we managed. You see the leading scores, Crawford with 15. Bradley has seven and uh, just a couple with four. And that's the way it's going to be for Kentucky. They only have two strong scoring options. Dave Odom's club just looking to find somebody that will uh, ignite the pilot light offensively. And Kentucky's suffocating half-court man-to-man up-in-your-face defense has been giving the Gamecocks a lot of trouble. Bradley, Patterson, and Crawford all average about 16 points a game. That's two-thirds of Kentucky's production. Right away, Crawford gives the Wildcats their largest lead of the game to open the second half. They're up by 11. Without Patterson available, Crawford and Bradley need to step up, and Crawford doing the job tonight, 17 so far for Joe Crawford. Zam Frederick off the bounce. Now they need him to get hot. Somebody's got to hit a three at some point. John Cowell, one of our officials, uh, they tried to make uh, the uh, still photographers aware that they're a little too close to the court. There you see the leading scores. Holmes had 10, Frederick 8. And uh, Devin Downey was looking to get his teammates more involved, dropping more dimes than he was attempting shots. Four turnovers for Downey to go along with those four points, only two assists. A tough first half for Devin Downey. Uh, they, they came at him with a little running jump, throwing two guys at him. Surprised him many times, didn't he? Yes, indeed. Crawford. <laughs> Wayne Day had better get out on him. <laughs> he has uh, 20 points. The Detroit crossover from Joe Crawford shaking loose from Dwayne Day. Drilling the three. That's over half there a lot right now that Crawford's responsible for it. He said earlier he could go off for 30. He may be well on his way. As you see, Frederick answering for South Carolina. South Carolina hanging in, still only down nine. Joe Crawford rolling lately. And check against Day. As Crawford is going on the blowback. Look at this crossover. Shaking Day, moving left, crossing it over right. Beautiful move by Joe Crawford for three. Second foul on Day. Ramon Harris will trigger it in. He's playing with three fouls for Kentucky, number 34. Switch along the perimeter. Now Zam Frederick matched up with Crawford, trying to cool him up. Today's uh, length gave Bradley some trouble that time. He created a turnover. Frederick again. Maybe a little quick with that launch. A little quick, a little deep. Bradley there to answer. Boy, that's a five or six point swing right there. A bad shot selection on one end, leading to an easy one on the other. And Kentucky's lead is 12. Those bad shots lead to so many bad things, not just the possession that the bad shot is. Jasper gets the deflection, outlets to Crawford. Numbers. What a good move that was. He did everything but finish. He gets the rebound. They got him for steps after it. Well, Joe doing it all, though. Give him a big E for effort. Watch this uh, decision by Bradley to just pull up. 
And that was not a pull-up where you're rushing down the court and leaning as you go up for the shot. Bradley 